How does mental health affect sexual satisfaction? Is it true that physical exercise can have benefits for sexual health? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Mental health influences sexual satisfaction through factors such as stress, self-esteem, and possible specific conditions. Good mental health and open communication often enhance the sexual experience, while appropriate treatment may be key to overcoming challenges. Regular exercise improves cardiovascular health, circulation, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases, benefiting sexual health. Additionally, it promotes the release of endorphins, improving mood and sexual response. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Personalization and adaptation. What works as foreplay can vary significantly from one woman to another, so it's important to adapt to the individual preferences and desires of each couple to create a truly enjoyable and satisfying sexual experience. Physical exercise and erectile function. Regular physical activity and aerobic exercise can improve erectile function by enhancing cardiovascular health and increasing blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Piercing fetishism. Similar to tattoo fetishism, some individuals experience sexual arousal towards piercings in certain parts of the body, finding piercings erotically appealing. Popularity in erotic literature. The Kama Sutra has inspired a wide range of erotic literature, from novels to poems and essays, which have contributed to keeping its influence alive in contemporary culture. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Post-orgasm sensitivity. After an orgasm, some women may experience increased sensitivity in erogenous zones, making them more responsive to additional stimulation. Power role fantasies. Some people enjoy sexual fantasies involving power roles, such as boss employee, teacher student, or doctor patient. These fantasies can provide a safe way to explore consensual power exchange in a controlled environment. Prevention and lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, avoiding smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption can help prevent erectile dysfunction and promote overall sexual health. Professional consultation. If any health concerns arise or persistent discomfort is experienced, it is advisable to seek guidance from health professionals, such as doctors or sex therapists. Prostate stimulation. Some men find that prostate stimulation, an erogenous zone within the rectum, can help delay ejaculation and improve their control over the sexual response. Psychology behind fantasies. Sexual fantasies can play an important role in arousal and sexual satisfaction. They can help explore desires, experiment with roles and scenarios, and enrich a person's sexual life. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Relationship between mental health and sexuality. Mental health and sexuality are closely related, and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety can affect sexual function and emotional well-being. Relationship with erectile. Dysfunction. Premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction are often related, and some individuals may experience both conditions simultaneously. Reproductive health. Sexuality is also related to reproductive health, which includes family planning, access to contraceptives, and prenatal care. Role of communication in sex. Open and honest communication about sexual needs, desires, and boundaries is essential for a healthy and satisfying sex life, 
both in committed relationships and casual encounters. Role-playing games are a common form of sexual exploration. By assuming different roles and scenarios, couples can live out fantasies and exciting experiences in a safe and consensual environment. Safe exploration. It's always important to practice consent, safety, and respect when exploring fetishes and sexual fantasies. This ensures that all parties involved feel comfortable and secure. Search trends. Online pornography platforms provide data on user search trends, revealing changing interests and preferences regarding genres, actors, and scenes. Self-help. Techniques. In addition to medical treatments, there are self-help techniques that can help men manage erectile dysfunction, such as masturbation to maintain erectile function and the use of penis rings to maintain erection. Sensory exploration. Foreplay involves a complete sensory exploration of a woman's body, stimulating not only obvious erogenous zones, but also less explored areas, such as the nape, toes, or lower back, which can be equally sensitive to touch and pleasure. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and pregnancy. Having sexual relations during pregnancy is generally safe, unless otherwise indicated by a doctor. In fact, many couples find that their sex life improves during this period. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sex in the elderly. Sexuality in old age is an important part of life for many older individuals. Older couples can continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sex toys. Foreplay can involve a variety of sex toys designed specifically to stimulate different areas of the female body, such as vibrators, dildos, Benoit balls, and clitoral stimulators. In urban settings in developing countries, sexual and reproductive health clinics run by young people have been established to provide counseling, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives tailored to the needs of young populations. Sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and hypoactive sexual desire disorder can affect a person's ability to enjoy sex and may be caused by physical, psychological, or a combination of both factors. Sexual empowerment. Actively participating in foreplay can empower women by allowing them to express their sexual desires and needs openly and without inhibition, promoting greater self-confidence in themselves and their sexuality. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is an important part of the human experience and can manifest in various forms, including physical contact, erotic stimulation, emotional affection, and shared intimacy. Sexual therapy. Masturbation is often used in sexual therapy as a way to help women overcome sexual problems, such as anorgasmia or lack of sexual desire. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.